Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you guys my home binder. I just made this um, because um, as most of you guys know we are just moving into our own house and so I'm going to kind of show you guys what's going on before I fill in the information. I've used this um, previously and it worked really well but um, I want to show you how I set it up before I put in the information so I don't have to block out a ton of it. Um, so I'm going to get started and I have Andrew Mordecai with me eating popcorn. So I'm going to get started. I bought this um, binder from Walmart and it was $2 on sale today and it is the Brito brand and it's a one inch binder. Super cute. Um, I got one of these for my household binder and the one for my recipes. And this one just kind of reminded me more of family because there's me and then there's Dennis and yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. None of this is printed out, but you can get free printable printables on places like Pinterest and such. Um, and also there's a lot more tabs you can add. I don't have tabs added yet because um, I haven't got any yet. Um, but you can add as much or as little as you want to. This is just what normally works for us. And I want to also note that I also have like other things that I use, like uh, notebooks and planners that I use to keep organized. But yeah. Um, so this just says the Days Household Binder. That is uh, our last name. Um, I tried drawing roses, but it didn't turn out too well. So, um, yeah. So the first section, and I don't know why binders always do this to me. So I plan on looking up a way to fix that. Ugh, that's so frustrating. Anyways, um, this is... So, um, I just put... This is the section, it's household, and then what's here? Cleaning routines, household needs, are lease, and contracts. So like, contracts would be like phone contracts, internet contracts, um, you know, that type of stuff. Um, like if you're buying a car, that would be in there, but our car's paid off. Um, so I just, um, I'll go more into depth with this if, um, you know, later on in my YouTube life. But I got this idea from how Jen does it, and it's just uh, detail cleaning, and I will do a little bit of it each day of the week for um, the master bedroom, and then this is, I need to reorganize the uh, cleaning papers, but, um, yeah. And then this is weekly cleaning, uh, daily cleaning, and nightly cleaning, children's detail cleaning, laundry, uh, bedroom, or sorry, bathroom cleaning, um, living room cleaning, and this is like more detailed, if that makes sense. Kitchen cleaning. Okay, and then this is what we need to buy. So this would be an area for like, we need to buy blankets. We need to buy a bed. We need to buy, you know, household things. This is not for, like, this is not where I'll put, um, we need salad dressing or we need trash bags. Um, this is just where I'll put like bigger purchases that don't really fit in with our budget right away. Um, you know, um, that kind of stuff. So the next um, area is my lease and I'm actually going to skip over that. Okay, so the next sec section is money and budgets. And then what's here? This month's budget, savings accounts, aka big purchases, my just in case and holidays, debts and say giving and donations, and the first page is actually my September budget and I'm gonna skip over that just because I don't want everybody knowing everything um, but I do have it um, for October September all the way to next September so um, I have all of those in here and I don't have them filled out yet obviously because things change okay and then savings um, so this will just be like what I put into my big my big purchase savings each month, what I put in my emergency fund each month, and then what I have for holidays each month. Um, so this will be getting updated regularly. And then my giving and donations. We um, like to give regularly to our church. We like to uh, donate regularly to um, food banks and such. Um, so this is, uh, sorry, just to kind of keep us in track. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, so this, this is just where we can like keep track of how much we're giving and you know, adjust when necessary. And then this is uh, debts, and um, we have four. Um, we have our vet bill, and then we have um, 
few minor uh, minor bills, but um, so this is just to kind of keep us, you know, knowing where we need to go in life. <laughs> okay, this section is for family and friends, and then here will be their phone numbers, birthdays, addresses, and anniversaries, so we can send cards. I don't know why it keeps like none, not focusing. I'm so sorry. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, so I just, um, I'll have friends, and then I'll put their name, address, phone number, and then birthday, and then if they have any kids, I'll put that through. Why is it doing that? Oh my goodness. Hold on. There. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then family. I did not fill this out for a reason. Um, Facebook's great for checking in on this stuff. Okay. And then my last section, which is history, which will contain utility bills, vehicle fixes, big buys, and vet bills. This is like kind of for budgeting purposes for next year, and um, it's just good to keep this kind of stuff. So um, this time next year, I'll know exactly what our utility, um, our electric bill was for the month of September, so I can kind of budget accordingly. <laughs> And then vehicle fixes, um, just, it's good to keep track of that for, um, you know, it's just really good to keep track of that just in case we want to sell our vehicle or if we're trying to, um, narrow down why it's dying or something like that, we can say, oh, well, we fixed the engine so we can cross that off. Um, and it'll kind of also help us to, like, we can say, oh, we bought windshield wipers a year ago, we need to buy windshield wipers, that type of stuff. And then big buys, this will be like if we buy our furniture new, a new TV, um, new beds, something like brand new that's kind of bigger that might come with a warranty. Um, this is just nice to have. Um, and then vet bills and pet stuff. Um, and this will also be our pet insurance, which we're looking into. Um, this is just... I feel like it's necessary to have this um, just in case we ever want to adopt another cat. We can say this is our vet history. We took him in this many times for these reasons and we got this taken care of. It's kind of for like accountability and just so we know um, just in case God forbid we ever have to get rid of Kitty um, we can we can give this to um, his next owners which that's never going to happen but you know just in case if anything happens to us, they need to know what Kitty's background is because he is a special needs cat. Um, they have this written down. So um, that was my home management binder. And um, I really hope you guys, um, I hope this helps somebody because I always see these and they're always like nice and printed and pretty. And I think mine's pretty, but... Um, they're always like looking real professional and this is just to tell you guys that it does not have to look professional to um, be um, efficient, um, if that makes sense. You don't have to have something freshly printed off um, and it still be effective. And I just used computer paper, lined paper, and these um, markers that my grandma gave me. These are kind of expensive markers because I like art. Um, but they're sugar loaf, um, and they're whisper strokes, so, yeah. Um, so that was kind of probably the most expensive thing in this project. And I, I just got a one-inch binder. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm about to take them out and do away from the baby. Go do it. Okay, and I'm gonna go, and I hope you guys enjoy.